Hi, my name is Valerie and I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to change a flat tire. First, you're going to need to know where your spare tire is and tools. You can use your owner's manual if you don't know where they're located. Mine are in my trunk. These are the tools you're going to need to change your flat tire. First I have my scissor jack, which will lift the car. This is what I need to turn my jack. And this is my aftermarket lug nut wrench. And my spare tire. Refer to your owner's manual where your jack goes on the car. Mine goes right here. Then you will finger turn it until it reaches the chassis of the car, like this. Next, you will loosen the lug nuts on the tire. Don't remove them, only loosen them. Then you will jack the car up all the way. Some of the lug nuts on here may be really hard to move, so don't be afraid to use your body weight to help loosen them. You need to jack up the car so it's only a few inches off the ground. Notice how the tire is starting to lift off the ground. This is, this is what you want the tire to look like before you're able to remove the lug nuts. Now, I'm going back to my lug nut wrench and I'm going to remove all of the lug nuts. Make sure when you take your lug nuts off that you put them somewhere safe so you know where they all are. Now you're ready to remove the tire. And we're going to place the spare tire on now. Now you're ready to put your spare tire on. This might be difficult because you need to line up the holes with the lug nuts right here. Once you have the tire on like this, you're going to place each lug nut on um, and you're only going to finger tighten them like this. Now with your lug nuts finger tightened all the way, you're able to lower the car. Now that the car is back on the ground, we can remove the jack and then fasten the lug nuts. So this is where you're going to use the wrench. And you want to tighten them as tight as you can. First, you should do the top lug nut, then move directly to the bottom one. Then you're going to go to the next one over here on the right, and then across this way. Doing it Doing it this way centers the tire. So you just want to make sure you're doing it as tight as you can. And then you're 
you're done. It is important to note that a spare tire is a temporary fix and not a permanent solution. You should try to avoid going over 55 miles an hour on your spare tire.